game, and they massacre people in team fights. And the summoners say it right now if you look on the side of LMS. Maple may switch. Darshan does a pretty good job, though, of playing defensively. Now, we'll see if he can get it done. Carso with eyes on the prize. Top gets taken down once again. Carso shows to Elaine. Xmithy and the rest of the team are actually still going to be pushing here. If pressure can be kept by who he. Maple's not going to be doing much either. Yeah, again, we return to that jungle matchup where the onus is on Elise to create a play, but uh, Smithy just plays so much safer. He hard farm it until he goes for the turret. Yeah, that's going to be a dive here. That's a Q against the turret. Cosmic binding hits. It's going to actually get hit with the pole as well. MMD going to be going down oh! here. They're going to let who he picked that one up. No, it's going to be the Ren for Stixay. Goes into the full five on five, then you can even turn tides. Yeah, if they can hold this for 30 seconds. Home guards as well for this double TP. Could be a big play. Oh. That's Maple here. Whoa, and now over the wall. Tries to heal himself up and stay alive. Flashes back. He's already taken down Afro Mu, and it's the who he teleport in. It's the Echo teleport in from Darshan. Whoa. He goes flying forward. Gets taken down after his corner break. Xmithy going very low. They weren't able to use everything in conjunction. This respite and everything the else. The on Dragon, that could have been absolutely destructive. Third fate. That's going to be one hit on Karsa. Is that what they want? The Repel is still there. Sword Art coming from the side to join his team. And MMD is in the middle of the fight as they head towards the backside now for Counter-Logic Gaming. It seems like they've split both sides. Everybody's safe for now as Aphromoo oh. tries one more attempt. The Cosmic Binding actually connects with the turret structure on MMD. It's the follow-up for Counter-Logic Gaming. They found Sword Art, and now they may find more. Darshan deep under the turret. Chrono Break is there, but it's not necessary just yet as they continue to close in on kills. They continue to sing the praises of their teammates, and Darshan dodges one last attack out, but the Execute is there from Karsa. CLG looking for the ace. The Respite is down, and it kills the members necessary and allows Maple to drop. The three re-engages there were actually so well played by CLG. Yeah, the, everybody thought that fight was over, and then one binding connects, then Afromu flies in, Darshan goes in, and the ultimate, the Sharima shuffle, it wasn't there. It was simply too late for Maple. It goes Afromu, then Stixay with the phase call, then Afromu again, and Smithy going for it as well. Who he with the flash. Oh, they know it's kind of a balk there. CLG is going to stay inside the base, look to get a bit of extra damage down. Very nice hit onto Stixay. He's going to cleanse that one off. He'll be safe for now. But they have to be careful fighting over the wall. This is where Flash Wolves got themselves into trouble last time when CLG could go back and forth. A very nice Emperor's Divide for Maples, cleaning up the fight a little bit. But oh. now to the back line is Counter Logic Gaming. They go around the wall. They find the members necessary on Flash Wolves. They take them down in a three for two. NL will fall as well. MMD will make it to the fountain, but they're going for the Nexus. They're showing huge Gaming. in that team fight. This Switch to Soraka, immediately sticks a flash you were talking about sacrifices the switch. sacrifices his life there and identify the threat there to sustain. They take it out and then suddenly Huhi is still alive in his fight. Coming out strong in the beginning of this game, 31 minutes in against Flash Wolves with quite the composition from both teams out of Champion Select. CLG makes quick work of, quick work of this one at 11 to 5. And we're going to game two here in the semifinals. Wants to see mid is four. That's actually what CLG wants to do right now. They're playing a 4-1 or maybe a 1-1-3 one, one, with the Caitlyn Janna on the side. They, they start initiating freezes. Aphromo. That's going to be Aphromo with the Ignite on. He's down. First blood going over to Maple. Thought he made a, may, might have made it out, but Darshan could be next. Sword out. They can turn this and the around. rest of the teams bearing their teeth now on the Flash Wolf side. And it looks like they're getting he, a reactionary play. Yeah. Aphromo had to walk mid to help Huhi, who's now in trouble wow. against Anel. But Jeez, everybody's fighting. Smithy could actually go down here. Lamb's respite is up. They're going to... Oh! oh it's a, turret. It's a retribution it kill back and forth. Darshan looks to continue the fight. A push from Maple on the top, but the TP is there. Or broke. <laughs> Where's oh, the rest MMD? of it? MMD teleport by. They're going for who he gonna try to lock him down. Emperor's Divide is there, so it's actually separating the team quite a bit. But MMD and the rest of the team are practically 3v1 until they can get the rest in. 3 to 1 in kills right now. Sword Art and the rest of the team looking to bring this one up an octave and get some more kills. It's just who he at the moment. And the TP can come back in from Darshan on home. Flashwell's gonna claim a secondary turret. The Mantra Shield, and then for Xmithy to throw collateral damage into that. You're not getting much out of it. Six they could easily go down here very low on mana it's the push through afro mulo as well a last hit from maple and he can't get through with even the seraphs embrace on 
3,000. That one's going to go down, and Smithy. Ooh, oh, they pulled off really quick, and Smithy has a chance to get back in, but they pulled off and stopped doing any damage to Badek Smithy further. The quick draw he used did not allow him back into the fight. A hit out, Hoogie and Maple going head to head right now. Flash is back, and it looks like Flash Wolves come out on top. They're going for Stick Say. The slow as well, and that's MMD around the, oh, the cupcake. Aframu with Howling Gales all event long, saving Stick Say's rear, but I don't know how much it's going to be. Here comes Maple, Flash and Summoners are down, but these are gonna be a rage. Another Howling Gale predicted from Aframu. Oh! The Flash to safety. They're still gonna find what they want. Flash Wolves bites down once again, and they don't give up. Unrelenting aggression here from Flash Wolves. They want to make a statement here in game two. They definitely did, and CLG trying to go for a miracle steal and fight at the same time cost them. Flash Wolves are going to finish the game right now. Everybody asked for it. The relentless aggression. Where did it go from the regular season of the LMS? The Flash Wolves taking down AHQ. Where is that team? They're back. They're at MSI. Can they do it again, though, is the question. And possibly even pushed off here. With and the turrets along with it. Teleport now coming in. That's going to be the home guard. That could be a dead stick say, but he backs off quite quickly putting down some traps. Maple's gonna go ahead and play that front Maple. runner. He still finds Dixay. There goes MMD. They knock him straight up. The monsoon only saves him for so long. And the Flash Wolves are looking to put a win on the board. MMD saved by Lambs respite as, respite as Carson throws it down. The rest of the fight up to CLG's Darshan in the front. It's Smithy trying to throw damage from oh! the back. Rugi with one final go. And he puts himself in a great position for it to be a one for two, but Darshan falls. There's not much damage to follow up from CLG here. Nick Smithy doing his damnedest with Aphromu shields behind. And Nick Smithy will fall as well. It'll take a while with Sword Art and MMD. And it actually might just be a chase down <laughs> that gives CLG long enough for Stixay to come back up for the options to save the Nexus. They have the minions in LMS as they go onto the Nexus turrets 35 minutes in, just four minutes later from their previous push. They look to make the semifinals a true series here and take this game over Counter Lodge. Are they going to leave? Are you no, going to leave on me? It's just Stick it comes want... back up with the hurricane. They're this... waiting it out. They're giving the super minions a little bit more credit. Add them, get them in the picture. Nexus is going to explode. God, I'm playing with my emotions. They're <laughs> tugging on my heartstrings. And yes, we do have a series. GG to the LMS Flash Walls. Yep. A rise that can flash on top of you. Echo, who's literally... And the Sona level 6. And the level oh. 6 power spike of Sona as well. Very, the... very dangerous things for Darshan. Going to try and get out. Phase dive to Carsa trying to gain a little bit of ground and the lanes once again in favor. Oh, Carsa. There it is! Carsa flashes forward, he stays alive! It's not enough damage from the turret. They all Seems like there's been a different focus on the lane here for CLG. They'd usually have Six a ward no flash, out. Remember. Focusing on the heals, focusing on keeping Afro alive! Wolf bites down! Carsa gets another kill for the Flash that? Wolves. That's gonna be another one for Carsa coming out of the there jungle. From Stixay. He really wanted to answer back there and did not respect the very dangerous Kindred on the map. Now he does. What's he gonna do about it? Level though? six. He doesn't want to go back the other no, way. Only, only half the battle, Crepo. Sword yeah, roll, you're saying. roll potential. And I feel like they don't. They don't need to play. Oh, okay. Backing out. It's gonna be the summoner heal. Lands respite still up. There's that. Who he teleported? He was looking to make before. They're gonna have Carson onto the turret. <laughs> he drops it for the gold, knowing this isn't gonna be a good end for him. That Rift Herald will be down now. Meanwhile, top like side, Darshan is trading while uh, Sword Art trying to help out, but they're just going for the Dragon. CLG trying to make a play. The 3v1 by MMD more than once throughout this series from game two to game three. Chain of Corruption goes out. He flashed forward. Brings that to the team. It looks like Afro is going to go down. One last shot. That was from Carson. Now he gets another one. Who he will drop NL, but in the fight, Stixay looking to make the last hit. So is Carson. He flies forward. Stixay heals up, and he's going to keep himself alive. Actually, the heal, sorry, from Lamb's Respite. Can Stixay rejoin this? Darshan's trying to fight three versus one. Stixay's on the outside. Darshan does. Looks like he's a little too far in from the poke. From Stix A to matter that much. Three for two, three for four overall, I should say, as Stix A. Bottom side making a play while Smithy finishes off this turret. Let's see. Aframu taken down without any rebuttal. The crescendo did go out there as well. Once again, dodged by the Flash Wolves. Had to make that defense and use the Flash Crescendo. Was, oh my goodness, they caught it out! Huge catch. Who he should stay alive in that situation? 
Maple kill still goes over the wall. He's gonna try to hit this up, but he may have just lost himself to Stick and the rest of the team. McSmithy and the rest happy to pick this one up. Now two down for Flash Wolves. Should be a mid turret for Counter Logic Gaming and an opening they have been looking for. This is exactly for. what CLG want. Getting a little bit scrappy, trading kills back and forth, trying to even it up, but now. With the fights on to it, Smithy back towards the turret. Everybody's in a safe spot here, but Darshan has got himself pretty deep with corner break still up. Looks to get himself out. No walls to be stunned by this time, so he can get that HP there, but is forced to flash away from Karsa. True shot barrage is enough to finish down Karsa. Three still down, or three now down. Staring to the white of Flash Wolves' eyes. Whoa, Maple goes deep. The exhaust onto Huhi. They can start to use this against Flash Wolves now. Lambs respite down, and they're forced out of it immediately. Aphromu takes the chance right away. And now the Flash over the wall. They're on his sword out now, clearing him out. And CLG's been biding their time for just these The fights. key ultimate ability usage there. You can see Flash Wolves start to panic after Maple goes deep on Huhi. But Huhi stands his ground. He fights and makes some crazy plays to get in there. CLG takes so much back of this. Flash Wolves, it looked like they panic a little bit yeah, under pressure there. You and I, Kobe. <laughs> ah, yes. <laughs> well passed. Yeah, uh oh, here we go. Brutal on each oh, other. Oh, they re engage. Oh, where's the respite? It's not happening this time. That's the nail in the coffin for Counter Logic Gaming. MMD right through the uprights, and nobody's going to get knocked back home. A minute on Dragon coming up, but it looks like they're going to be taking inhibitors before that's even an option. 6 8 tried to 2v1 very, tower. Very guys. low, almost burns down. He's going to limp away from the fight. Darshan's on the backside already. Snipe. That's the true shot barrage, and a quick, sweet feet step to the left side for NL. It's good. This trying to force these fights, MMD going down. They simply can't withstand this late game pressure from Counter Logic Gaming. The spike couldn't have happened at a better time. CLG knew they could continue to take hold. Strangled down on Flash Wolves' composition, even though Flash Wolves was up three kills in the beginning. They he back onto Carson. That's the one they need. It brings away or takes away the 50-50. Lamb's respite goes down. They're now onto the and now he gets cleansed out. And now Flash Wolves is trying to get out of this fight. MMD tries to get away. Collateral damage picks him up as Counter Logic Gaming is just slowly choosing their next target with precision. And now it's gonna be on to Sword Art. Nothing's gonna save him here from Darshan. Or at least he's not gonna get to the fountain. And CLG is gonna be looking for Nexus turrets here. A few for the kills, a few for the win and they don't have much more before they finalize the game coming up huge on this one counter logic gaming stop the bleeding 20 minutes in and are able to pull themselves back into the lead poise for clg when facing the deficit and calmly executing the team fights over and over again GG's are out. Counter Logic Gaming takes game three. Over to the Nidalee, which I was very curious about because Smithy is a good Nidalee. He loves this champion. The early visit mid lane. He's got a night. It's not a thresh, but it is the Sona. Aphromu oh, gets the exhaust. He's going to have to flash yeah, forward flash and power cord this. Do he's going to take one turret shot. He's dead. Oh! Yeah, he gets it. Aphromu's going to go down valiantly for first blood. Camping Darshan again. This is something that worked for them earlier. Here comes the teleport to protect, though. And Darshan, Darshan might die anyway! Looks like he may get out. No, the final hit from Karsa comes in. MMD squeaks his way out. Both mid and bot lane. It's been mostly the Kindred in his hands for these past games. Or that Graves seems to be a few clicks oh, off on the Nidalee. He just got and it's going to be clicks on by Karsa. That here only much earlier you know clg their motto this tournament has been the respect all fear none but their motto a couple of years ago was clear calls good plans or some some iteration of uh, that but darshan oh, go for it oh, one final hit their new motto is dive turrets don't care if i die yeah their recalls are trying to come in for flash wolves but clg are closing in big. Spear not to start it off, so he can't mark Sword Art. Now they're on to NL. The spell shoot goes down, which means they can mark him. Ooh. A great flash by NL, but it's going to be the mark from McSmithy. The spear lands, and he's able to finalize that kill. It'll be a display from Flash Wolves, where Flash Wolves just showed her their whole hand, but now... Oh, Flash is what down. a beautiful play. That's where they keep going for it. Maple's never going to give up. He locks down who he... Aphrom, who's forced to run out of that, and Flash Wolves realizes they can only take so much out of that fight. Answered once again. Uh, Smithy couldn't get into range to heal, but now who he's closing in. They are quite spread on this one. They're trying to have NL push bot as fast as possible, but they're not paying attention to the rest of the map. And Counter Logic Gaming start to waltz through the jungle. Now 2v1 on Karsa. Lamb's respite goes down, but it's only going to favor Counter Logic Aphromu Gaming. Aphromu who gets to walk back, and the shutdown of three kills goes to Stixay. 
That's a lot of power to be sitting on your back or sitting back with. Oh, oh coming in from flash on two. Forward. That didn't call out the Emperor's Divide just yet. And there's that teleport you called for him, Crepo. Darshan is right in the middle. They're trying to finalize it. And Maple's the first one to fall. That exhaust is down, and his flash was. And that's why he's on the ground. Seven to five here as CLG continue to take hold of this game. Six A by himself all the way too far forward. It looks like he's going to get some saving grace from the rest of the team as they follow up quickly. Yeah, but flash. That's game over. Afro now getting picked off. It'd be safe to let him go down without trying to get anything back onto that stick. It, oh, it does not. CLG. Uh, here's a teleport that we're waiting on. Darshan coming in from behind. This isn't even on home guards. They just have the wards in the right spot to continue. Good, you know, for huddling and playing that. Well, they did not run away. Wait, who he just man up? Who he actually the enemy just support. one Surprise. three? Carsa there. And obviously, CLG is going to say thank you very much. We'll take control of the bot side. And everyone's slide. dying for Flash Wolves off what? camera. Stixay yeah. is crescendo able to go. Crescendo onto Azir. Flash crescendo. Bah. Take a look at this. Who he the played. Unseen rise. <laughs> Did that answer your questions? Was yep. it three spells? Maybe four spells there from rise? Pow. Fog of war, baby. Oh, look at that. Press this flash. Wait, it wasn't a flash. The yeah. one window where Flash Wolves can commit. That's why. But it's an elaborate ruse. A distraction. Cool down. Down. He's just playing music for him. That's the hit, Smith. He gets the steal. It was, was also it. two levels up once again, which makes the smite easier. And now they're going to be making their way in for this fight. Lamb's respite is down, and Carso looks to follow shortly. Seem to have just fizzled out here. I mean, same for CLG, though, the entire season, despite changing the roster two, here. Sorry. Going in for the final team fight. This is going to be a go for Bro. Flash Wolves looking to put everything on the table. Who he is the man under the Nexus turrets, and he will get shut down. But Counter Logic Gaming has full reign of the base, and they're taking down Flash Wolves. They're looking ahead now to that final day if they can drop the Nexus here. 15 to 7, coming up on 30 minutes, and they seem to be able to take one Nexus turret. Flash Wolves trying their damnedest to prevent this and stay alive for one last game, but it's not going to happen. SK. Telecom T1 will face Counter Logic Gaming at the Midseason Invitational Finals for both teams to get their first chance at the championship win tomorrow.